The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Chris, Lucy, what? by any chance, has there been anything in a paper lately about the surface of the earth gradually tilting? No, why? Well, I'll swear that hill from the market up to this house gets steeper every year. <laughs> <laughs> Where you been so long? Oh, I stopped by the malt shop and had a marshmallow sundae. Oh, a marshmallow sundae. Viv, I thought you were on a diet. I am, I am. I had to have something to give me the strength to climb that Matterhorn. Oh. <laughs> Say, I saw Chris at the malt shop. Oh? She was with Ted Mooney Jr. again. Oh, you know, I'm glad Chris is having dates with Ted. He's a nice boy. Yeah, he sure is. You know, I may be forced to go to the bank and tell Mr. Mooney that I finally found something I like about him, his son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted certainly is an improvement over that Chuck Gibbons. Every time I think of Chuck, I see him hunched over in our kitchen with the, the light of the refrigerator shining in his face. <laughs> so Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi dear. sweetheart. Oh, the most wonderful thing has happened. What? You'll never believe it. What? What? Ted Moody and I are going steady. Ted and you are going what-y? Steady. I'm wearing the class ring that makes it official, see? Oh, gee, Mom, this is the most thrilling moment of my life. Aren't you excited? Dumbfounded is the word. <laughs> well, don't you think you're a little young, Chris, to be going steady? Oh, Mother, don't be old-fashioned. All the girls at school go steady. And Mom, Ted and I have so much in common. We both like the same hootenanny singers, we both wear Beethoven sweatshirts, and we both do our homework <laughs> listening to Dave Rubeck's jazz combo. <laughs> well, Unibac couldn't have come up with a more ideal <laughs> Chick has flown the coop. <laughs> oh, now, Lucy. <laughs> to a boy and girl in high school, there is nothing quite as temporary as going steady. It'll last a week, two weeks, then it'll all be over. But well, what if it isn't? They go steady, and then they get engaged, and then they get married, and the next thing you know, they... I'm too young to be a grandmother. <laughs> oh, girl. I just can't believe it. Chris going steady. Oh, now, Lucy, I think you're taking this thing much too seriously. They're just kids. It's puppy love. Puppy love. That was a ring he gave her, not a dog biscuit. <laughs> Listen, I'm going over and talk to Mr. Mooney. This is his problem, too. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, maybe we're getting excited about nothing. A lot of Ted's friends go steady doesn't mean a thing. Why, a week from now, Ted and Chris may change their minds and go steady with somebody else. Well, suppose they don't change their minds. Suppose they keep on going steady, and then they get engaged, and then they get married. Married? You mean you and I might be related? <laughs> That's right. We have got to do something brash. Like, we'll forbid them to ever see each other again. Right. Yeah. We'll forbid them to see each other again. That? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We may be going at this all wrong. What do you mean? Well, you know how teenagers are. They resent parental authority. The minute you tell them not to do something, that's just what they're going to do. A point well taken, then. How should we go about nipping this thing in the bud? Reverse psychology. That's what we'll use. How? Well, we'll encourage them. We'll tell them we think it's wonderful that they're going steady. And if they care so much about each other, maybe they ought to get married. But we don't want them to get married. Oh, I know that. But don't you see, when we tell them to get married, they'll feel that they're in so deep, they'll get scared and call the whole thing off. Are you sure that's the way teenagers think? I'm positive. Weren't you ever a teenager? Well, of course, what do you think? Well, I thought maybe one day they opened the bank vault and out you pop. <laughs> Very amusing. <laughs> Here they come. 
come. Here they come. Now remember, go in the kitchen and call Mr. Mooney and get ready to go into your act. Yes, okay, all right. Yeah, now, don't forget. Hi, kids. Oh, hi, Mom. Well, hi, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> well, now, don't you be bashful in front of me. You go right ahead. <laughs> uh, come on, Ted, let's go in the kitchen and do our algebra. Oh, now, why go in the kitchen? Why don't you do your homework in here where you can sit on the divan together? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come now, closer. After all, you're going steady. That's it. My, what a lovely couple. <laughs> Go ahead, do your studying. <laughs> Mom, what's the matter? Oh, nothing, darling. Don't pay any attention to me. It's just that the thought of a wedding always makes me cry. <laughs> wedding? Whose wedding? Oh, you are the sly ones. You're going steady now, so I know it's just a matter of time before you'll be getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Oh. Chris, darling, we should be making plans. You know, it's never too early to start talking about a wedding. But, Mom, Ted and I are just going steady. Marriage never entered our mind. Don't worry about a thing, dear. I'll take care of everything. You'll have a big church wedding, and I already have the music picked out, and guess who the soloist is going to be? Oh. I love you truly. <laughs> Save yourself for the ceremony. Bad luck for the bride and groom to hear all of the music before the wedding. Oh, oh, kids, I think this is wonderful news. Congratulations. Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney. How oh. nice. Well, I always say if you're going to have a big wedding, do it in style. Oh, what a marvelous idea. A formal wedding. Yeah. Let's have it in June so we can have it out in the garden. A yeah. Garden yeah. Well, we'll invite wonderful. the entire town. Oh, that's the entire town. Right. All right. That's the entire wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll have a uh, bride. Dad. 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 Yes, yes, my boy. Dad, I, I've got to talk to you. I, I, I know what you're going to say. And don't worry about it. Everybody gets nervous. I even had some doubts myself before the ceremony. So did I. I had my doubts after this ceremony. <laughs> hey, Dad, this whole thing of getting married is a pretty big surprise to me. Well, it came as a surprise to me, too, but the more I thought about it, the better I liked it. Just think, in no time at all, you'll be presenting me with my first grandchild. Holy cow! <laughs> Viv, maybe Chris could wear my wedding dress. What do you think? I think she could. Just a few alterations here and yeah, there. Yeah, it's, huh? it's in a box in the garage. Let's go out and look for it. All right. Uh, Mr. Mooney, how would you like to come with us? I'm sure the kids have a lot to talk about. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't get married until I get more customers on my paper round. <laughs> I want to tell you something. This whole here comes the bride kick is one of my mother's schemes. What? Our folks are using reverse psychology on us. They don't like our going steady, so they're acting like they want us to get married. But they don't want us to get married. No. Say, maybe we should use some reverse reverse psychology. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Well, we'll pretend that we like the idea of getting married and give them a good scare. Now, do what I do. Oh, yeah, I, I think it'll think work so. very well, yeah. Chris, I think you'll be a perfect dream in my wedding gown. Well, how are the bride and groom-to-be getting along? Oh, fine, Mr. <laughs> Mooney. And we decided not to go steady anymore. Oh. oh. Yes, we really weren't that serious, but after hearing all about the big wedding, we decided we would get married. Yeah, you <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> <laughs> Married? And we've got you to thank for the whole idea. Dad, Dad, Dad. 
As long as we're getting married, I figured I'd drop out of school. Drop out of school! <laughs> you can't stop your education. How would you get a job? I work for you at the bank. You don't know anything about banking. I got my marksmanship badge at camp last summer. I'll be a bank guard. Bank guard? <laughs> yeah, boy, I sure like to use one of those guns. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, merciful heaven! <laughs> Let's go down to the malt shop and tell all the gang. Okay, pussy cat. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Yes, uh, goodbye, Dad. And now, I would like to say a few words to the pussycat's mother. Well, now, Mr. Mooney, I, 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 I'm sure that we'll be able to talk them out of this some way, but uh, j just as a matter of curiosity, what, uh, uh, how much is a bank guard's take-home pay? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, if you just keep on this well, set of fire, I'll on everybody. Well, see, I'd rather right. sing, Oh, promise me that someday and I... Oh, you. shut up! <laughs> oh, Mom. Yes, dear? I'm going over to Cynthia's house. Oh, uh, honey, uh... Anything you want to tell me before you go? No, I don't think so. Oh. Well, have fun. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Any news? Ah! <laughs> Are they getting married? Oh, you know as much about it as I do. Chris hasn't said a word. My goodness, you'd think a girl would tell her own mother whether she's going to get married or not. Well, you know the teenager's code. When questioned by a parent, only give your name, rank, and serial number. <laughs> That's true. You know, I'm so desperate, I've even stooped to eavesdropping. Chris got a call from Ted, and I hid in the closet. Oh, my, what? Well, they did algebra problems for half an hour, and I almost suffocated. Oh. <laughs> Lucy, is Chris going to spend the weekend with Cynthia? I don't know. Why? She borrowed my suitcase. I just wondered. Well, maybe she is. She didn't say anything to me about it. Oh, look at this, Viv. What? The travel folder of Niagara Falls. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful picture of Niagara Falls? Oh, that's very pretty. Where'd this come from? I don't know. Gee, what a beautiful spot. Did Ralph take you to Niagara Falls when you got married? Are you kidding? He rushed me right from a ceremony to the pawn shop to hawk my wedding ring. Oh, <laughs> Mary! Niagara Falls! Viv, this is Chris's travel folder. And your suitcase. Your suitcase. They're going to elope. Oh, now, Lucy, take Viv, they're going to elope. Yes, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes, I heard you. Yes, she borrowed a suitcase, and you found a folder about uh, Niagara Falls. You Look, this is all circumstantial evidence. It could mean any number of things. Now, I assure you that Ted has gotten over all these silly ideas about marriage. And I want to assure you, too, that I have brought up that boy so that he's not the sort who would sneak off and elope without telling me. Well, as a matter of fact, I see him out in the backyard now carrying a long lamp. <laughs> now, that should give you an idea that he's... A long ladder! <laughs> Charming decor. <laughs> what is this, early Huckleberry Finn? <laughs> well, what do you expect from two little boys? Oh, my, it's cold out here. I, 
What's the matter? Why did they build the ceiling so low? Oh, because they built it for little boys. This is their clubhouse. We're not supposed to be up here. Then why are we here? <laughs> oh, I already told you, Mr. Mooney, this is the perfect lookout post. Now, they can't possibly elope without us seeing them. Now, look, right over there, that's Chris's window on the second floor, see? Uh -huh. And right there is the back door. Yeah. Right there is the side door. Uh -huh. And this is the road that Ted has to use to drive over here. Well, I still say we should have locked them in their rooms till they came to their senses. Well, that is really the wrong psychology. Oh, I'm getting awfully tired of hearing you use that word. <laughs> you make me wish that Freud had never been born. <laughs> turn to go on watch. Oh. Oh. What time is it? It's two o'clock in the morning. Oh. oh, wait till I get hold of that son of mine. If he's going to elope, he could do it at a decent hour. <laughs> it's your turn to be on watch. Oh. Oh. Mr. Mooney, uh, would you stay awake and keep me company? <laughs> no. think you're doing? Cracking nuts. <laughs> Where'd you get them? I got them from that squirrel deep freeze. <laughs> Give me some. No, get your own. <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> no, all right, all right. You're still on watch.
Having so much fun up here, I didn't want it ever to end. Well, uh, I guess you're just going to have to shinny down that tree and get that left. Mrs. Carmichael, bank presidents don't shinny. All right, we'll simply have to wait here until morning till somebody sees us and comes up and gets us. Oh, swell, swell. All right. That's all we need. Well, at least they'll have a white elopement. Mrs. Carmichael, if your fingers ever thaw out, I'm going to strangle you. Mom. What, honey? I've got to run, Mom. Aunt Biff's driving me to school. All right, sweetheart. See you later. Bye-bye. I told you, Mr. Mooney. I told you we had nothing. Ah! Thank 
Chris. Lucy, what? by any chance, has there been anything in a paper lately about the surface of the earth gradually tilting? No, why? Well, I'll swear that hill from the market up to this house gets steeper every year. <laughs> <laughs> Where you been so long? Oh, I stopped by the malt shop. Had a marshmallow sundae. Oh, a marshmallow sundae. Viv, I thought you were on a diet. I am, I am. I had to have something to give me the strength to climb that Matterhorn. Oh. <laughs> Say, I saw Chris at the malt shop. Oh? She was with Ted Mooney Jr. again. Oh, you know, I'm glad Chris is having dates with Ted. He's a nice boy. Yeah, he sure is. You know, I may be forced to go to the bank and tell Mr. Mooney that I finally found something I like about him, his son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted certainly is an improvement over that Chuck Gibbons. Every time I think of Chuck, I see him hunched over in our kitchen with the, the light of the refrigerator shining in his face. <laughs> so right. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi dear. Oh, the most wonderful thing. Has happened. What? You'll never believe it. What? What? Ted Moody and I are going steady. Ted and you, you are going what? Steady. I'm <laughs> wearing the class ring that makes it official. See? Oh, gee, Mom, this is the most thrilling moment of my life. Aren't you excited? Dumbfounded is the word. <laughs> well, don't you think you're a little young, Chris, to be going steady? Oh, mother, don't be old-fashioned. All the girls at school go steady. And Mom, Ted, and I have so much in common. We both like the same hoot nanny singers, we both wear Beethoven sweatshirts, and we both do our homework <laughs> listening to Dave Rubeck's jazz combo. <laughs> well, Univac couldn't have come up with a more ideal. <laughs> oh, 